I will be baking. So the recipe is by Camila Hamid and it's a chocolate chip cookie pie reci um, recipe with strawberries as well. So it's the first time doing it. Um, it looks something like this. I think it'll be really, really delicious. I'm excited, um, but I will have the recipe on my phone, so I, be, I will be looking at it a little bit because that will make it easier for me. Um, so what you need is butter, room temperature butter, um, flour, we also need sugar, white sugar and brown sugar. We need one egg that I have right here, and then we need baking soda, um, vanilla sugar, which I know that not all the countries have, but if you don't have vanilla sugar, I would just add a little bit more sugar and then maybe like vanilla extract. And then we also need potato flour. The recipe will be in um, the description below, so everything will be there. Um, and then we also need chocolate. We did milk chocolate, but it says um, dark chocolate, but my boyfriend does not like dark chocolate, so we're doing milk chocolate. So first of all, you put your oven on 175 degrees Celsius. So, um... We have done that, it is ready, and then I have also chopped up the chocolate beforehand. Um, so I don't like chop it into small pieces, they're more like bulkier. Um, it's just the way I prefer it, and it's the way the recipe says to do it as well. Um, you then mix, you then mix the flour. So I already like measured everything up just to make it easier, um, but like I said, the exact measurements will be in the description below. And also, if you don't know what deciliters is, you can Google it to convert it to your metric systems, if that's like cups or grams or whatever it is. So in this, we have baking soda, vanilla sugar, and potato flour. There we go. Just mix this together. What's your plans for summer? Um, my plans for summer, I'm just going to be home in Sweden, I'm enjoying time with my family and um, my dog, just, you know, chilling. Okay, so now I'm just going to pour this over here because I need this bowl. But we need to start by um, mixing butter and sugar into a fluffy mixture. So the room temperature butter is right here. I'm going to go off camera when I mix it because I don't have it. Um, my mixer is over there and then you add the sugar and you add the brown sugar and it's important that this texture will be like really really fluffy because the fluffier it'll get the better um, so mix it really fluffy and then um, you will add the egg as well and then you will mix it a little bit more so the eggs goes into the mixture so I will be back really soon okay so this is what the mixture looks like um, so this is the brown sugar, white sugar, the butter, and then also the um, egg. And now we will be mixing the flour, baking powder, vanilla sugar, um, and everything in it. So everything else except for the chocolate. So I just find it easier mixing with my hands. So that's what I'm going to do. Favorite look from the summer collection? Mm, my favorite look from the summer collection... I love the like Bermuda shorts. I've never been into shorts, um, but I love longer shorts. They're just like super comfortable. It's easy to wear, um, and I really feel like it just looks good with everything. You can like dress it up and dress it down. Um, I love a piece of clothing that you can wear um, in a lot of different ways, rather than just getting something that you can only wear like once. Is so, that your best styling tips? My best styling tips would definitely be to like make sure you're comfortable because whenever you're comfortable that will um, like ooze confidence rather than wearing something just because it's a trend um, I really feel like being comfortable is key okay so now we will be adding the chocolate um, we will be saving some for the decoration we'll be adding a lot of chocolate what you do now is you put the dough into the pie form so I'm using this this size so you put two-thirds of it in so you save a little bit for um, later which is important I am so sticky now I kind of like regret doing this with my hands but at the same time I just find it so much easier um, I'm very much of like a hands-on kind of person I guess so what you can do is you're supposed to go up and put this like up here. This pie form, sorry my hand, this one is 
um, a lot higher, so I won't be doing that. Um, but other, if you have like the classic pie forms that are like this high, put the dough like put the dough all like on the side, so it's more of like a real pie. Um, mine will kind of be like I don't know, it'll be something else, something cute. And then I will put this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, and then I will put it in the oven for um, 10 minutes just to like pre-toast it. So while I put this in the oven. I will be doing the filling, so see you in a minute. So as the pie, um, the pie dough is in the refrigerator for 10 minutes, we are going to do the filling, which is super easy. So you need 500 grams of strawberries. And the firmer they are, the easier um, the easier it'll be. So you don't want them to be like super, you know, like mature, like mushy. Um, and you then add half a deciliter of sugar and two to three teaspoons of potato flour. And then you just mix this. Best tips to turn around a bad day. Mm, best tips to turn around a bad day is to wake up and put your favorite music on put um put on an outfit that you love do your hair in a way that makes you feel comfortable and beautiful and just you know for me it really helps to focus on things i'm grateful for so like three things i'm grateful for three things that make me happy um and then i really try to just focus on that rather than um focusing on the negative stuff which sometimes can be hard um also just like talking to people you trust if you're having a bad day is super helpful as well um, I've learned that, you know, I can't get through life alone. Sometimes we all need a little help, um, especially on a bad day. So don't be scared to open up. Okay, so this pie has been in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, and now we will put it in the oven for 10 minutes just to get a little, like, pre-gold on it. Um, and then we will take it out, put the filling on top, put the rest of the dough on top, and then put it in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. So, um, I guess... Let's do that in the middle of the oven. Ras. And then when you're waiting, you can you know try a little bit and see if you like it. If you're just baking for yourself, of course. Okay, so it has been in the oven for 10 minutes. Now I will put the filling on it. And then also crumble the rest of the, um, the dough on top. Okay, so I just crumble the rest of the dough. Um, and because I didn't do the dough on the sides, I'm going to just put the um, strawberries in the middle and do it like that instead. But otherwise, if you put the dough on the side like you're supposed to, you can just put the strawberries all over the pie. So this kind of reminds me of like a crumble pie, like apple crumble that I made a few weekends ago. So easy, so yummy. Okay, so now we will put this in the oven again for 20 to 30 minutes or until it has like a light golden color. And in the recipe it said, and until it's no longer shiny, um, so we'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited. It smells delicious. So now it has been in the oven for 30 minutes and it's getting hot. Um, and now we are just going to sprinkle some more chocolate on top. And then we are ready to eat it. I'm like genuinely so excited. It smells delicious. When you guys bake this, you have to um, tag me and you know to quote in your like Instagram story, YouTube video. Instagram post whatever you want to do because I can't wait to see you guys try this one and um, see what you guys think about it. So I'm just gonna let it cool off for like I don't think we're gonna be able to wait that long, maybe like 10 minutes, and then we're gonna try it. So this is the final result. It smells delicious. Let's try it. It's so good. So I'm eating it with vanilla ice cream because she said that 
it met like the best combination is ice cream. So I thought, I don't even like ice cream, but I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try it. Um, but it's so good and um, please try this, bake it, see if you guys like it. And um, thank you for you Nicole, for letting me do this video like you guys might know. I'm a very proud ambassador for Yuna Chikoa and I was part of their summer campaign. So I was really happy to do this as well because I love baking. Um, and this might not be like the most aesthetically pleasing piece of pie. It's probably because I'm gonna tell you the truth. I could only wait for three minutes and then I had to try it. So it's still like warm and mushy. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Now I'm going to enjoy this. Also, don't forget that the recipe for this cookie dough strawberry pie is in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to Nancy Cole's channel and like the video. Okay guys, stay safe out there.